Hello, it's been a while since I've made a video. Where have I been? Well, I have not been on here, that's for sure. Um, I go through phases where I'll like be super consistent making videos and then I'm like, I'm over it, I'm tired. I know that sounds awful because I do want to be able to help the eating disorder recovery community, but I also need to recognize when I need a break and when I'm burnt out or when I feel like it's forced, it feels really good to just walk away until I feel ready to come back. So I'm not committing to everyday videos, but today I thought I could probably make a quick one. And the video that I want to make today, I want to discuss the difference between like when you're in recovery, the difference between kind of letting challenges happen organically, just kind of because you, I don't know, uh, went out to lunch with a friend and then your husband invited you to dinner. It's like, oh, well, here's the day that just kind of so happened where I'm going to have to do some really good rewiring. Those days will happen. Of course they will. But if you're trying to or you're being very diligent in being proactive and creating those days consistently every single day, rewiring is going to occur much faster. Something in your brain will feel different when you're making the decision to do the challenging thing versus when it's just kind of happening to you and you're just kind of obliging because you should and you're in recovery and it's the right thing to do. It feels much more empowering and there's a lot more sticking power to you going after, going out and, and actually attacking those challenges, such as fear food or eating more of something or eating more frequently than you typically would. And so I encourage you to plan out your day, not necessarily to a T exactly every single bite of food you're going to eat, but I encourage you to have some kind of highlights, I would call it, throughout your day where you know you're going to be challenged. And I would have several of those in a day where you know, okay, we're going to get myself to that like kind of level 10 anxiety and we're going to feel really uncomfortable and we're going to sit with it and we're going to get through it. And then repeat it and repeat it. Not just once a day, because once a day you can master pretty quickly, right? Because your eating disorder is like, we can handle once a day. We can fix before and after that one event. But when you're doing it multiple times in a day, your eating disorder gets a little bit more rat rattled and it doesn't like it. And it's having a harder time compensating. And so the more frequent you can do, the more that you can kind of condense or consolidate like lots of challenges in a small amount of, of space or within a day, um, the more successful you're going to be at kind of shutting down that voice and actually doing some really good rewiring and not a long, not a long period of time. Like it can happen quite quickly. Um, and so that is my short message for you today. And, um, yeah, we'll see if I come back. Maybe, maybe that's the trick is just keeping them shorter. Cause a week and a half ago or whenever I made my last video, I felt like my videos were getting longer. I don't know. I felt like talking more then, but now I don't. So my videos are going to be shorter. Maybe that's it. Um, so yes, hope you're having um, success in your recovery. And if you're not, look at what you need to do or how to tweak it or what support you might need and do that and, and make the changes so that you can in fact get to the place that you're actually trying to get to, which would be fully recovered. All right. Have a good day.